Pokemon Unite is finally here for mobile and emulator, but there are a couple of issues making it hard for PC players. One being the controls. We, th we either have the option to move using mouse and keyboard, so you can use WASD to move like this, where you only have eight directions. Or you could use right click, which feels kind of off compared to most native PC MOBAs. And it also makes it kind of hard to aim at the same time while moving. The third option is you can either plug in a controller and aim with something like this. And that doesn't really feel right. Especially with the weird snapping that this emulator does to the directions. Since these options are kind of awkward to use, I combine the best of both worlds by using the left side of the controller to move like this with the mouse. That's right, I'm just going to be using the controller and the mouse with no keyboard. Before you call me crazy, this feels way better than it sounds, especially if you use, if you uh, played Unite on the Switch and are used to PC MOBAs. To use this setup, you will need a mouse with at least six buttons or a controller with back paddles on it. I'm using a PS4 controller with a G305 mouse. To start off, you'll need an emulator with Unite, obviously. I use Mimu right now because it's easy to set up move canceling and uh, performance is pretty much about the same on every emulator I've tried. You'll also need a third party program called DS4 Windows in order to map your keys onto your controller along with other fancy stuff. To install DS4 Windows go to the link in the description which is this and click on whichever zip file is for your system. Most people have x64 so I'm gonna click that one which is the top link once your download is finished, you'll have a file like this. You can drag it to your desktop or wherever you want it and unzip it. And you get a folder like this, open it again, and you're gonna wanna start ds4windows.exe. When you open it for the first time, you're not gonna see something like this, but instead you'll get a prompt for like, like four or five steps you gotta do to install everything to make sure the software runs properly. So once you have that done, you want to go to your profiles, click on default, and duplicate. I'm going to type in a new name here, call it Unite, and save. So once that's done, we can go ahead and, and minimize that out for now and open up Mimo. Once your game's loaded, you can want to boot up a practice match and start working on the keybinds. First off, I'm going to go straight to the gamepad and delete everything that's in here except for the left stick. And I'm going to hit save. Yes. And once this is loaded, I'm going to test this out to make sure it's lined up correctly. It's not, so I'm going to move it over here. Make it a little bit smaller and line it up. And now should be able to move with the left stick on the controller. Move in all directions, everything should be working. Next, we're gonna go to standard mode, key mappings. Doesn't matter if you have this on or not, but I'm just gonna delete a couple things here that I won't be using and move them around to make sure they're in the right spot. Auto attack, probably need normal one for that. Uh, there, I'm just going to name them, it, it shouldn't matter what these all are, put skill attacks down, and probably, this should probably be a skill attack as well, keep that there, alright, and then I'm going to do these as well, three, four, five, six shouldn't matter for these because these are all going to be on your controller uh i'm personally going to be using right click for auto attack and then a mouse button for auto attack wild pokemon i'm using another mouse button to cancel moves oh, i'm actually going to use a mouse button for this as well and this so i bound one of my mouse buttons to z so that's going to be one of them uh, and I'm using middle mouse button for flash or eject button. 
and then I'm going to hit save. And then make sure you have your profile set to Unite or, which, or whatever you named your profile to. And then you can test to see if it works. As you can see, I'm moving around. I have full motion and I can aim abilities however I want. I can hit everything. I can aim it perfectly. I turn off move cooldowns. Got full movement. I'm just using the mouse and the left side of the controller. Now, there's another thing. You can, there's a lot of stuff you can do with DS4 Windows. And I'm going to show you one of them. How to make it so that you can look at specific areas of the map by pressing down certain key binds. So let's start off with uh, Dreadnaw. I'm going to make this into... Five, Zapto six, Rodom seven. I hit save. Now we're gonna go back into profiles, edit unite. I'm gonna make left stick into Dreadnought. Hit apply. And then when I hold down left stick, I'm looking at Dreadnought. And you can even aim your abilities while you're holding down the left stick. So if you're Venusaur or something with Solar Beam, you can try to snipe it while holding down the left stick. And it's super easy to aim like that. If you want to... What, what I do is uh, I make it so that I can make multiple profiles in DS4 Windows. So I'm going to copy this. Make it Unite 2. And then I'm just going to switch this to 6. So now it's going to look at Zapdos. But in order to use that profile, you're going to have to go to Special Actions, New Action, name it Load 2, select an action, load a profile, Unite 2. And I'm going to make the switch the profile to up on the D-pad. And you got to set Unload Trigger to up as well. And you apply. So now I'm going to look at Dreadnought. And then I'm going to hit up on the D-pad. And now it's looking at Zapdos. And then you can hit up on the D-pad again to go back to the original profile. And you're going to look at Dread. So if, uh, if you want to start with Dread, you can have this on the default profile. And then when Dread's dead, you can go over to Zap or Rodom and look at that as well. You can do it with three profiles, so I have a, the Rodon profile set to right on the D-pad as well. I hope I explained that right. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty crazy, but you can even change the color of the your controller, if you have a PS4 controller, to like yellow for Zapdos. I think that's kind of cool. So when you switch profiles, your color will change. And when you unload it, it'll go back to blue, or whatever your default is. But yeah, that's, that's just pretty much some of the cool things you can do with uh, uh, DS4 Windows and looking around on the map, being able to aim at the same time, which you can't really do unless you have... Uh, yeah, you can't really do with the default emulator controls unless you're using the controller DS4 Windows. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I think.